How close of a dupe are these two new Middle Eastern fragrances to these Kaylee fragrances? I'm gonna let you know. Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia. Here on my channel, I love all things affordable fashion, beauty, and fragrance. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, dupe comparison, Middle Eastern fragrance videos, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. Okay, you guys. So once again, this seems to be the pattern with me lately. I will get in a Middle Eastern fragrance having no clue that it is inspired by another fragrance or, you know, duping another fragrance. And lo and behold, when I go and spray it, I'm like, it smells very, very familiar. Um, now, I will say one of these, I did kind of have an idea it was going to be similar just because of the notes that were listed. But the other one, I really had no clue. And as soon as I sprayed it, I was like, huh, this is kind of close to a KLE. So I decided that it might be helpful to you guys to compare the two and let you know if I think these other two are, um, you know, worth getting instead of spending the money on the KLE because both of these are less expensive for sure. Um, one of them quite a bit. All right, so let's first start with the Afnon. Um, this is Kiana Angel and full disclosure, I was sent this by Afnon NPR and actually I have an, an upcoming collaboration with them for TikTok and Instagram. They did not pay me or send this to me for YouTube. This is just something I wanna do for you guys. So here is a bottle. You guys, it's really, really pretty, stunning. It's heavy. Um, this cap is heavy as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. And this is the one that when I read the notes, I was like, mm, pretty sure that's supposed to be a dupe of Kaylee's Yum Pistachio Gelato. Now, Yum Pistachio Gelato, I do have right here. Um, I do enjoy this fragrance quite a bit. I know this one's very divisive, you know, and some people get different things out of this. Some people get um, straight pistachio gelato. Some people only get powder from this. I even hear some people only get floral from it. So um, I have always enjoyed it. And I do also really like the Tejer, um version by Paris Corner as well. So how does this one compare? Well, honestly, this one is very, very similar. I mean, almost a complete dupe. One difference though is, is this is a little more stripped down in the notes. Whenever I smell the two side by side, I get a little hint of something spicier in the Yum Pistachio Gelato, which I don't think a lot of people really smell. And honestly, I hadn't really ever picked that up until I was smelling the two of them and really thinking about what I was smelling. Now, I know on Fragrantica, they do list geranium um, on the Yum Pistachio Gelato, but on the back, you know, and this isn't all the notes that are on the back of here, they just say pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, cotton candy. Um, now, when I first got this, I pretty much was one that got only this sort of almond powdery fluffiness from it with a hint of kind of unsweetened pistachio. That's, and, and sort of like an unsweetened cream vibe that was fluffy is what I got with this. As it set, I do have a little more of the pistachio and then now I do smell something spicy. So I don't know if it's the rum that they actually list in here on Fragrantica. They say geranium and geranium is a really spicy floral. So this one doesn't have any of that spiciness whatsoever. And this one honestly smells like my Yum Pistachio Gelato as it has sat for over a year. So I don't, I'm not having to wait for this one to macerate. I get a very um, kind of a, a duality here of a dense gelato. And I looked up the difference. I, I never really thought about what is the difference between ice cream and gelato. They say the difference is gelato has more milk, less cream. Gelato is frozen, I think longer or at a colder temperature or something like that to make it a little thicker and denser. So I that made sense to me. I was like, this is sort of dense in the gelato aspect of it, but then this hat, 
tell us my dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but in the base, this does have some uh, smooth sandalwood and also some tonka that kind of gives it this fluffy quality that um, Yum Pistachio Gelato gets with the um, Cotton Candy Whipped Cream. So um, they are very similar in the dry down though. Once this sort of ever so slight spiciness, whatever it is in here that's giving it that, once that wears off, these are almost indistinguishable. Truly, truly. Now, if you're not familiar with the notes in the two, I'll tell you about, now I got a big truck. Okay, I live in Texas. This happens in my videos a lot. Um, in the middle, you do have pear, um, you have some raspberry and some peach in here. And it's not extremely noticeable. Um, I think you get more of the pistachio than anything, but there is this sort of like hint of something fruity kind of like in, in the background, very, very, very faintly. And those fruits are what is giving it that quality. There's also a little jasmine. So it's not very floral. I think it just kind of adds like a little, tiny little hint of something else also that makes you go, hmm. And then that fluffy Tonka smooth sandalwood. So this one, like I said, doesn't have the cotton candy claim, the whipped cream claim. There's no hazelnut in here. There is no rum. There's no booziness to this whatsoever. I honestly get no booziness from the pistachio gelato. Some people might. And if you're sensitive to that, this does not have that. So it really is like just a pared down version of the Kaoli. A little more simplistic, but still has the same quality to it. And I think it's slightly denser. Um, I think the gelato is slightly denser and a little bit more noticeable. So I think it makes the lasting power stay around a little bit better as well. So if you were someone that liked the pistachio gelato, but you thought, I mean, KLE is notorious for not lasting long. If it wore off too quickly for you, if you didn't want to wait on that real pistachio gelato to come out, if you were only getting those sort of fluffy powdery vibes from it, this already has it in there. Honestly, and this one is $59.99, I believe. Um, it's brand new on Afnon. I do have a code. You can use it or not. It won't hurt my feelings if you don't. It only saves you 15%, I believe. I think I need to double check on that, but I mean, it's going to save you some money for sure. So you're basically going to pay half the price, um, but for a uh, hundred mil as opposed to a 50 mil, let me double check. Is that right? Yes. 50 mil, a hundred mil. So you're getting twice as much product for half the price with this one. And I mean, I think the bottle is really pretty gorgeous. Very, very good dupe. Um, that I think might be slightly better. Not too much better. They're pretty comparable, but I think it's slightly better and twice the product, half the price. Okay, this next one is the one that I was not aware at first that it was maybe inspired by, and I don't really have any proof of this, um, but I, it's similar, but it is not as close of a dupe as the last one. But this is the Kingdom from Latafa. I believe this came out here recently. I've seen nobody talk about it. And I think there's only maybe four or five reviews on Fragrant to cut right now. So it has to be pretty new and it does say 2024. I got this off of Amazon, did not get this sent to me. I purchased it myself for about 30 bucks. Bottle again is really, really pretty. I do have some fingerprints that have made it a little blurry, but um, really pretty bottle. You have three little rhinestones here, nice and heavy as well. And this one is similar, not an exact dupe, to the KLE Wedding Silk Santal. Notorious fragrance over here. Notorious, especially if you watch my channel. <laughs> I did a whole video on this fragrance, how I feel like it's very, very overhyped. And cliff notes of that video real quick. I do really, really like this fragrance. I think some people got confused and think, thought it was bashing it. I like this fragrance a lot. I just thought it was overhyped. I didn't agree with 
um, the marketing of it and making people think they'll never get their hands on it again. People buying all these backups. Now it's permanent. Um, I didn't agree with it being the best fragrance of the year. Those kind of claims is what I didn't agree with, but it is a really pretty fragrance. A downfall of this is it doesn't last very long and you have to spray a lot, I think, to really get some staying power. Um, so the kingdom is similar, but some differences here is there's no champagne note in here. Um, instead of nectarine, it is pear. There is also no freesia in here. You start out with almost a like an unripened um, black currant. You also have a peony in here instead of rose and uh, the freesia. You have peony. And uh, so free, the freesia mixed with that champagne in Santal is what gives it a little bit of that bubbly effervescence to it. This really doesn't have that quality. So it's missing that. This it does also have the jasmine, same as Silk Santal. Um, and it has the praline as well. It has the vanilla musk sandalwood base. So it is missing a sugar note that is in the uh, Silk Santal. It also doesn't have oak moss. So this one has a few different notes like pear and um, peony, and then it's missing the sugar, and it has tonka where I believe the other does not. So it's very close, but it is not an exact dupe. I think the main difference in the two is this doesn't really have that opening bubbly quality, which to be honest and fair is gone very, very quickly in the Silk Santal, and it's not quite as sweet. It's almost a little sharper, almost greener version of Silk Santal. But, I, and I don't mean like, don't think, it doesn't have like a lot of green notes in it. It's not a green fragrance at all. It just, if I'm comparing the two and thinking, what is my nose smelling differently? It's almost like maybe the nectarine in here too gives it like a, a little sweetened, um, fruit to it while a pear in here is going to be not quite as sweet, like a little greener of a fruit is what I mean by that, not like green grass. And then peony is definitely different on the nose than uh, some rose and freesia as well. So a far away, I feel like they smell very similar. Up close, you definitely get more sweetness out of this. And actually, this made me realize how sweet this is because when I have been wearing it on its own and not really testing it against something else, I didn't smell as much sweetness as I did comparing the two. So I would say that if you're someone who is diehard for this fragrance, and you, you do get the sweetness out of it and you love, love, love that like sugar in the base, you love the, you know, smooth praline in here, you like that bubbly champagne and you would miss it, you, you maybe wouldn't like this one as much. On the contrary, if you're someone who is like, I don't get the champagne or I don't really care for it or this is a little too sweet for me, then I think you might really like this one. And I mean, $30, 100 mil, and then you have this baby over here that is what, 110 or something like that for the 50 mil. That's a pretty big difference. I actually am really happy that this isn't a spot on dupe for me because this one kind of is a little bit on its own. And I feel like this is a really good buy and not just completely duping myself. Um, and it really might help you guys out because of what I said. If you were thinking, if you've heard this is an exact dupe, it's really not. But if you're wanting something slightly different, but very similar, you would probably really, really enjoy this one. So definitely out of the two, the closest dupe is going to be the Afnon uh, Kiana Angel really, really beautiful, spot on almost a dupe. And then the Kingdom, 
ever so slightly different of Silk Santal. I hope this video informs you guys and will help you out either to purchase or not purchase. I'm never trying to convince you guys like you have to have this. I like to give you guys the information and then if that persuades you to not purchase, I've done my job. If it per persuades you to purchase and you really enjoy it, then I've also done my job. It's really up to you guys to take the information and apply it how it works for you. I thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping, and smelling fabulous. Bye!